everybody want to weed them here friday july 19th 2013 i think it's like 9 30 somewhere around there uh just had supper uh kind of early for a change but uh i've been insanely busy i mentioned it in the uh video i put together uh earlier today if you have not seen that you definitely need to check it out there's a leak from a uk website i think it was cool store or cool shop uh one of those two is probably right Basically, they're just populating pages, and uh, somehow someone came across it, shared the links, uh, word got out. I was able to actually take screen caps pretty much everything. Uh, now that I'm back home, I had to run back down to work uh, after leaving. Uh, you know, stuff happens. But uh, I will get all my screen caps up. That way, you know, you don't have to pause the video, etc. But definitely check the video out. It'll be the first post on the blog here for a little while. Uh, at least until this takes over and what this is is an unknown uh, by the way Chase McCain is out here he's very easy to find he's probably gonna get knocked down uh, that said we have a giant mystery box here uh, let's see we'll take some measurements just make it more interesting if you will uh, we'll come across this is a bad tape measure it's just one of those small ones you have in the house uh, four 21 and let's see if I can do this. 4 by 10 and a half by 21. Uh, lots of things that can fit in there. We've got. I picked up a, a second draw bot today. I actually found them at uh, Toys R Us, was the only one. Clearly, Skyliners would fit in there. Uh, Giants, I checked with Scarlet and Genie a little bit ago. They'll fit. Uh, that said. This is actually from, let's see here, find a Target receipt. Uh, it's actually from Activision. Uh, that's a good thing. That means they're sending something out that they probably want us to open and see and get excited about. Uh, and that's what we're going to do if I can find my knife. So. I think I know what this is, not 100% sure. Uh, once we see it, we'll kind of go from there. But uh, it's packed very nice, it was shipped overnight. So, let's see here. Just got it open. And I, I, in all honesty, it looks like we opened it correctly. Uh, I'll let you take a quick look there. Uh, you kind of see something here we obviously need to pay close attention to. Uh, it's like an interesting little item. It is Monopoly Skylanders fact sheet. We're going to take a closer look at that here in a second. Uh, really awkward box to kind of get in front of the camera, but uh, that gives you a good look. So, uh, at this point in time, we all know what this is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the packing out, discard that, and here it comes in all of its glory. Skylanders Monopoly. Uh, this is hilarious because I was actually trying to get this today. Uh, Toys R Us doesn't even have it in their computer. Uh, you've probably seen a bunch of posts on it uh, here lately. Uh, Skylanders game, of course, that's where I saw it. It was announced a while back. And then uh, here lately, I guess, you know, uh, word's been getting out. The only place I could even find it, and I'm glad I didn't order it, uh, was Amazon. $39.99 is the price. Uh, but... Hey, if it gets sent to your door, it gets sent to your door. Uh, can't argue with that. Uh, this is really cool, obviously, uh, if you're a Skylander fan. When I did look for it today, uh, not quite sure. I think it was called Skylander's Game. I was going to buy it, but I didn't have, I had no way of carrying it. Uh, but it was $9.99 at Toys R Us, which is actually a really good price. But it was basically like pop -em -atic Trouble. Uh, but it was like a skyline. I don't even know if they call it pop matic Trouble anymore. Uh, that's just what it was when I was a kid, and I remember the game because I we play with my grandma a lot. Uh, I'm probably going to pick that up next time I'm there and my hands aren't full. But uh, now, Skylanders Monopoly here. Uh, like I said, you know, when I got to go to E3, uh, you know, kind of at the hands of Activision, Step 3 had a great time there. Uh, Assuming this is the same type deal, just like, hey, check this out, and uh, of course that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, 
front cover here we have includes six exclusive metal tokens that looks like the uh, ship from Pirate Sea could be the main one from SSA that's of course chaos that's gonna be awesome uh, prism break eruptor cinder gilgrunt jetvac uh, stealth elf trigger happy and spiral note the artwork here it's pretty easy to tell these are like the series two poses and then basically what you see in giants uh it's really good shot of chaos right there i may see if i can get a picture of that and then cap it use it as an avatar or something uh on the box edge two to six players ages eight to adult uh you can play younger than that not a big deal it's just suggested uh, we've got Chop Chop Hot Dog Pop Fizz, uh, Skylanders logo, Eruptor, Whirlwind, and Trigger Happy, and then it looks like the Golden Dragonfire Cannon and a Chompy. Uh, that's pretty interesting. This side here we've got Spyro Feature. On the top side, cool thing, it's actually different characters. Uh, that's a little extra above and beyond the Call of Duty. Uh, we have Cinder, my personal favorite Terrafin. Prism Break, another great character, Jetvac, Stealth Elf, and Gilgrunt. Uh, there's the Pirate Swords, and what is that? Oh, it's a sheep. That, that's interesting. And then on the flip side, opposite of Whirlwind, we have, uh, or Spyro, I should say, is Flashwing, who will be back in uh, Skylander Swap Force, we know. Now for the money shot, we're going to be back here. I guess I should have looked at this first since there's a Legend of the Tokens, but... Uh, you're seeing this as I saw it. The box was sealed. So, uh, Skylanders Monopoly. Greetings, young portal masters. I had the batteries die, but uh, as I was saying, greetings, young portal master, which many of us can take as compliments. Uh, in the Skylanders edition of Monopoly, you can now buy, sell, and trade 22 new newly discovered locations in the Skylands. You can be a chompy, a sheep, or even chaos. That's winning right there. As you take a ride on Flynn's Blimp Tours or the Molkin Mine Train, work your way around the board as you battle over Thumpback's Thundering Tide Pool, Chop Shop's Boneyard, I like that one, or Hot Dog's Lemonade Stand on your quest to win it all. Uh, then we've got a little uh, shot of some of the cash there. Uh, looks pretty, pretty generic Monopoly. You know, just kind of customized, updated. Uh, title deed there for Thumpback's Thundering Tide Pool. Uh, down here, we've got two of the cards. Luckotron and Treasure Chest are going to be our, uh, you know, chance type cards, if you will. Uh, they're replacing the chance and community chest cards. I should have just read that to you. But, uh, that said, the six collectible tokens. Let's take a look here. We've got Chaos. Uh, like I said, that's pretty much an instant win right there. Uh, the swords, we'll call them the pirate swords, uh, cannon, dragon fire cannon, I guess this one is the dragon fire cannon since it's not gold. Uh, if you want it to be the golden dragon fire cannon, I'm sure you could just like hit it with some metallic paint. Uh, the sheep, which uh, that's a pretty interesting choice there. The pirate ship, and then a chompy. The cool thing, if they would have done characters here, I mean how do you pick six and satisfy everyone? Uh, it would also then kind of be a little awkward, you know, like if you purchase your own property type thing. Uh, that said, you know, I feel like they did a nice job there, you know, as opposed to like Stealth Elf, Trigger Happy. Would have been cool to have the small sized characters. But like I said, then I mean, you know, you could have six people going to play and, you know, maybe none of your favorites are there or something. Uh, that said, you know, this ride is pretty safe. Uh, I feel good with it. Uh, the contents inside the box, if you will. <laughs> There's a real bad glare. I think I got it now where it's not glaring on you. Uh, I just can't read it. <laughs> but, uh, game board, six collectible metal tokens, which we just covered. 28 title deed cards. 16 Luckatron cards. 16 treasure chest cards. Two dice. 32 houses, uh, renamed huts in this case. Uh, 12 hotels, renamed castles. And then one pack of custom Skylands money rules. Uh, let's see here. There's a shot of the board. Obviously, I'm going to take that out for you. Uh, we may have to move to the other half of the pool table or the floor, something along those lines. Uh, I do it right here, but we're I'm literally going to right after this do the Castaways Newlander stuff. So 
Uh, the board looks awesome. Uh, that's why I was looking for it today. I was actually going to play with my nephew. Uh, I was also chasing the purple variants. Uh, if you note, though, obviously, you know, Skylanders, pretty kid-friendly, kid-oriented, if you will. There's a 60-minute speed play rules. That's going to come in real handy. Uh, Monopoly, as many of you know, uh, some people may have never completed a game of Monopoly. Uh, but if you do, it can go on and on and on. I actually am a big fan of Monopoly. Uh, just started back up at McDonald's. That was like huge for me when I was a little kid. Uh, by that point in time, I wasn't like a huge fan of the food, but I was just like a fan of Monopoly. <laughs> I think they had a Viper one year as like the big prize, which was awesome. Uh, that said, I've always liked Monopoly. I'd always play it. I've got uh, the one I enjoyed like... I don't know, I was probably like 11 or 12 when it came out. It was NFL Opoly. Uh, it was like right around when they added the Panthers and Jaguars to the league. That was pretty cool. Uh, that board was actually like a cross fold up. No one probably cared. <laughs> so, bottom line, Monopoly is actually a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, you know, we've got Nintendo Monopoly too. My nephew likes that. And what he usually does, you know, we play a little bit according to the rules, but. He'll just kind of like swing his own rules. He'll start making his own version of the game. Um, you can do that here. And now instead of your kids having to do that with a generic set, uh, something they've outgrown or aren't into now, you can actually do it with the Skylander. Uh, maybe get them back interested in the game. You can slyly, you know, teach property and money type management skills. Uh, but like I said, if you ever do play it out, it's very time intensive. It's a lot of fun in my opinion. Uh, I didn't actually have the video game when I was a little kid, but one of my friends did. We played that quite a bit. Uh, before the grocery store closed down, I actually had the high score on a rental copy. So, somewhere out there, my initials probably still exist. <laughs> but, uh, all that's really left now is to open this up and kind of see what we get. And uh, kind of appreciate the finer details, I guess, if you will. Again, I would have this in the frame for you, but uh, basically what would happen is we'd knock everyone over. So uh, this would be the time in my life where it would be nice to have some of the fingernails standing beside me. Finally got it going though. Uh, packed very well. I don't think the contents will have shifted much at all. Uh, there we go. Kind of get this off. Take a little luster away from it. Uh, We'll see what we can do here, and then I'll probably move you. Uh, inside the box is a box, so uh, no crazy, you know, silk screen printing or something like that. Uh, of course, traditional setup, we have the board right here. We'll go ahead and just do a quick run through on the contents, I suppose. Uh, first thing we see, or the first thing we're going to take out, rather, is... Uh, Black and white instructions, the original Monopoly game rules, plus special rules for this edition. That was a nice little fold out, I did not know that. Uh, here's how to play, in case you don't know. Uh, da -da -da. You do all the following, even when it isn't your turn. Let's see if we can skin. Okay, here's your uh, kind of run through on the board, everything. But do you like to play fast speed play rules? Let's see here. Da, da, da. Four change rules. Banker shuffles then deals three title deed cards to each player, uh, free with no payment. You need only three huts instead of four on each property. Complete the color group before you may buy a castle. Uh, castle runs the same. Jail, exit on your next turn by get out of jail free. Or you can buy one, rolling doubles, paying 50, etc. Uh, oh, and you can also pay 50 on the same turn. <laughs> Into the game. On the speed version, it ends when one player goes bankrupt, or the remaining players add up their dollars on hand, property owned, and the value printed on the board. Any mortgage properties owned at one half the value printed on the board. Huts counted at the purchase value. Castles counted at purchase value, including the amount for the three huts turned in. And the most powerful player wins. Uh, play it right. Many players like to devise their own house monopoly rules. This is fine, but such rules often make the game last longer. And the official rules 
players may never loan each other money or trade promises not to charge rent in the future, etc. All tax and penalty fees are payable in the bank and should be stored under the free parking space or anywhere else, yada yada. So, uh, basically what you can take from that, play the full version, play it your own way, play the speed version, just underlying gold, have fun. Uh, that's what it's really all about. This is actually really cool artwork here. Uh, I think you can get a feel for that. I'll just kind of scroll it slowly side to side. Basically, of course, this is going to be your banker set up for the cash, but right now it's storage and as delivered. So, uh, obviously, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight slots, eight elements, eight different artworks. Uh, we begin. The cool thing here every video set I do and the upgrades, giants, I do them all alphabetically by element. And that's exactly what they've done. It makes me feel good for doing things the way I do. I still get people ask me, it's like, oh, why'd you do, you know, Swarm before you did Hot Hedge or something? I was like, well, it's air element comes first. <laughs> you know. Uh, that said, that's what I do. I, I mention it often so people hopefully kind of get a feel for it. But, uh, we've got Swarm, Whirlwind, Sonic Boom, Lightning Rod, and Jetvac. What's cool about this? Pretty much everyone's featured. You've got your New Lander, your three returning, uh, you know, Series 1 characters, and then the brand new Giant. Earth Element, Prism, Big, Prism Break, Bash, Terrafin. We've got the New Lander Flashwing, and then of course Crusher. Fire Element, we've got Hothead, uh, the New Lander Hot Dog returning characters, Flame Slinger, Igniter, and Eruptor. Life Element, trying to get that not to glare on you. We've got Tree Rex the Giant. We've got uh, Shroom Boom, your new life element character. Zook, Stealth Elf, and Stump Smash are returning characters from SSA. Then over here, Magic Elements are back for, if you will. Uh, we've got Ninjini the Giant, brand new character Pop Fizz. Returning three, Double Trouble, Wrecking Ball, and Spiral. Next up, Tech Element Giant, of course, being Bouncer. We've got brand new Sprocket. I say this, I don't want people to like get confused and think this is Swap Forces like based off of Giants. I think the Giants will make that clear just in case anyone was wondering. Uh, I've got Swap Force on the mind right now too, so that's part of the reason I thought of it. Uh, returning characters, Drill Sergeant, Drobot, Trigger Happy. Undead Element, we've got the Mighty Mighty Eyebrow, uh, <laughs> New Lander, Fright Rider, and then of course our three returning Hex, Cinder, and Chop Chop. Over here, Water Element, we've got Thumpback, our new lander, of course, being Chill. And then, of course, returning characters, Slam Bam, Zap, and Gilgrunt. Uh, so that is a very nice, pleasant surprise. Uh, I don't remember the Nintendo version uh, having anything that nice inside the box. Uh, that said, let's take a look here. Orange, which this is the quintessential sky. That's like what Power A uses, basically. Uh, our little huts, as they call them in the game, are the houses for, you know, strict Monopoly purists. Uh, pretty cool orange color again, kind of like what you see on the packaging uh, of the Skylanders, you know, kind of like your default color down here. It's sort of a gradient scale, but then down here it kind of, you know, matches up. Uh, the castles, as they call them in this game. They're gonna be the basically default Skylander Blue, uh, kinda like what you see on Chill, Gilgrun, etc. Then we have, how do we wanna do this? Uh, here are the cards. I'm gonna, assuming this is gonna be the everything, the title deeds, all the special cards. Uh, treasure Chest, defeat Chompy Bot 9000, collect 200. Uh, Crusher's Home Improvement just kind of gives you an idea, you know. Uh, we'll basically focus on the board. If for some reason people want to see me go through each one of these cards, I will do it. Just let me know. Uh, I guess that'll be like a secondary video if it happens. And then here we have the nice wad of cash. Uh, it's a shame it's not real or redeemable for Skylanders. But, uh, I guess if you're a parent and you got this for your kid, you could actually like use this as like chore money. And uh, you know, once they complete S X tasks or whatever, you know, they can redeem this for like a skyline or something along the Like I said, just have fun with it. I mean that's what you're supposed to do. Uh again, if you want to see like each different face or the 
exact colors or something i will do that just you know tell me uh we will set this aside now and that means we are to our money shot here the board uh board it looks like it's going to be really really cool i'll do a dramatic drop down for you okay uh it looks awesome uh, that's what i can tell you really hard again for me to fit this in the frame for you but you get the idea here uh featured on the board we've got obviously the elements I kind of did them in a nice you know, triangle pattern if you will half diamond uh undead chop chop hot dog fire element prison break earth element jet vac air pop fizz magic chill water trigger happy tech Second row, if you will, we've got Stealth Elf and Eruptor. And then in the back row, we've got Spyro, Terrafin, and Cinder. Uh, framing them, we have Hothead on the right and Tree Rex on the left. Uh, let me see what I can do. I realize I forgot to show you something, too. Uh, there's Chaos. Uh, that is awesome. I don't know who did the artwork, but it's really cool. Uh, I'll save the tokens for the end. That's actually what I skipped. We're just going to go across the whole board here. Uh, I'll try to take a good picture, have it up on the blog as well, so take the link at the top. Uh, here's Gil, that's where we begin. Crusher's Home Improvement, Treasure Chest Slot, Terrafin's Mud Spa. Uh, here's Oryx, Traveling Store, uh, Tax basically. Uh, Flynn's Blimp Tours. We've got Whirlwind's Rainbow Lounge, there's a Luckatron slot. There's Jetvax Indoor Skydiving, which that would actually be really cool if it could somehow be done in real life. And then Lightning Rods Cloud Gym. There's your classic Monopoly in jail. Looks just the same as it did on the old boards we had when I was a kid. A uh, little, little bit of a gradient to the, you know, logo there. It's kind of like a paler orange than I remember. But, uh, Magic Element now is where we're at. And then Genie's Bottle Shop. That one actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, Core of Light Electric, uh, Pop Fizz's Flavor Laboratory, Spiral's Chompy Diner. These are actually pretty good names, you know, when you start thinking about them. Uh, here's another special space, kind of a railroad type thing, if you will. Uh, Air Pirate Express. Next up is our tech elements. We've got Bouncer's Robo Ball Court, the Treasure Chest Slot, Drobot's Oil Change. And Trigger Happy's Bank Vault. If Drobot was somehow like a gearhead car nut, uh, that would be awesome. Free parking, typical Monopoly, kind of has that like splash effect look to the graphic. Coming around, we have our fire element slots here, of course, three properties. We've got Igniter's Medieval Barbecue. Uh, that one's really cool. Uh, another Luckatron slot. Hot Dog's Lemonade Stand. Eruptor's Hot Springs. Uh, right here we've got the Molkin Mine Train. Now we're going to come in, we have our three undead slots on the board or properties. We've got High Prawl's Optometry. Uh, again, some of these are really cool. Cinder's Haunted House. There's Drillex's Boxed Beats. That actually again makes a lot of sense. And there's Chop Chop's Boneyard. And there's of course our ubiquitous logo, same as it's been, Go to Jail with the splash effect. Finally, we are on the home stretch. We have the life element properties here. Stump Smash's Nutcrackers, Tree Rex's Treehouse, Treasure Chest Slot, Stealth Elf's Ninja Dojo. That'll probably go over well with kids. Uh, then our final railroad slot, if you will, is the Dread Yacht Delivery Service. Another Luckatron slot. Coming over here, and this is your boardwalk and park place, if you will. We have Zap's Lightning Racetrack. Again, that's actually really clever with his name and powers. Persephone's Gym Shop. And then Thumpback's Thundering Tide Pool. And that brings us full circle back to the start. Uh, let me take a look here. Crusher's Home Improvement's pretty hysterical. Uh, of course, I'm a big Terrafin fan. Uh, Whirlwind's Rainbow. I like Jetvax. Out of the Earth, I'd give the nod to Crusher. Uh, you know, I like Terrahun, but Crusher's Home Improvement is just really good. Uh, <laughs> that'd actually be a neat business name for someone. Uh, out of the air element, I will give it to probably Jetvax Indoor Skydiving, although Lightning Rod's Cloud Gym is a close second. Uh, magic elements. Let's see here. 
The bottle shop is practical and obviously makes a lot of sense. I think I would give it to Spiral's Chompy Diner, though. Uh, just dating back to SSA and all the Chompies we had to deal with. Uh, as much of a gearhead as I am, and I drill bots oil change is cool. Uh, I'm going to give the nod here to Bouncer's Robo Ball Court. Over here, Fire Element. Uh, those two make sense, but to me, Igniter's Medieval Barbecue takes the cake. Uh, all three of the Undead are pretty good, but Eyeball's Optometry, again, that's what I've got to go with. Uh, life Elements. I think I'll do Stealth Elves and Ninja Dojo. That one's pretty sweet. And then, of course, now I'll get my inner gearhead taken care of. We'll see Zap's Lightning Racetrack. Uh, like I said, though, the board looks great. Here is the slot for the Luckatron cards by Tree Rex. And then the treasure chest is right there at the elbow of Hothead. Uh, that's the board. Uh, traditional, you know, non-slip surface on the back, just like they've been. And now... Since I forgot and we're lucky I remembered or this would have been a horrible video, uh, namely for the fact this is probably what people want to see the most out of it, aside from the board. Uh, to me, the board is really, really cool. This little pouch here that I will open for you is the six tokens. Basically the uh, characters or pieces you can be on the uh, game board. If we could get this out. Alright, so here we've got the ship. Again, it's actually fairly detailed. I mean, uh, don't have the ship here with me, but uh, it does. I mean, anyone that has Pirate Seas will have to agree. Like, even the masthead has a little bit of fine detail to it. The camera's probably not going to do this justice. Justice, Just take my word. When you get this, I think you will appreciate them. Uh, next up, we have the cannon. Again, this is pretty much to a T of the Golden Dragonfire Cannon and, of course, just your regular Dragonfire Cannon Battle Pack. Uh, Noted even has the fuse. Uh, the bottom has detail. It's got the Dragon Mouth. Uh, only thing is it probably doesn't light up on the portal. Other than that, they nailed it. Uh, next one, not too much fanfare here. I have a feeling this will probably be the least used unless you're a bad player. Uh, that was a horrible joke, but I'm really tired. <laughs> I don't know if you saw on Twitter, but I literally slept like 48 minutes Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, I was not very functional Thursday, but uh, here is a sheep, a little fuzzball, if you will. Uh, let's go again here. Uh, more love for Pirate Season Terrafin as we've got the ghost swords, or as the game refers to them, the swords. Again, detailed very well front and back side. Uh, it's not like just this side looks good. They both have the same intricate detail. Uh, note, I mean, this is literally like holding a scaled-down metal version in your hand. Uh, pretty impressive. Next up is the Chompy. This is actually our first look at like a Chompy figure. I guess there are some from Mega Bloks, but... Uh, this is actually, again, really, really good. Uh, you can even make out the eyes. You know, I think a lot of people still don't realize the eyes are like at the top of the antenna. But uh, the teeth look very menacing. Uh, my hands are big and this is small. And that makes it hard for me to show this to you. But uh, take my word for it, in hand, in person, uh, you will be very impressed with this Chompy. And now, uh, saving the best for last, we have, of course, the one and only Chaos. Uh, it will earn me bonus points if he ever, you know, takes over Earth. But uh, here he is. This is his little uh, token piece here. Uh, he looks very sinister here. Uh, there's some villain I'm thinking of. It's not Chrome Dome. Uh, that's a G.I. Joe guy. I can't think of his name. I remember from the cartoons when I was a Destructo or Destructor. I don't know, somebody probably knows what I'm thinking of, but just like that little glare he had and you couldn't see his cloak, that's actually what he looked like. But again, uh, camera's having a hard time really getting you the detail that I can see with my own eyes. Uh, very intricate, it's got the ruffled, you know, robe down here at the bottom. He's got full hands, I mean they're folded up in his little sinister pose like he does. Uh, backside, he's got the ears going over again, there's even like the details as if he was, you know, walking across the carpet uh looks really really good uh 
Let's see here. That's the board. That's the game. We've covered the artwork. We covered the tokens, thankfully. Uh, somehow didn't overlook that. Even read some of the rules to you. Uh, next up would be this little fact sheet. And inside here, I just have to figure out how to get in there. Uh, it's what looks like Flynn's balloon. Uh, maybe that was a piece and they decided not to do it. I'm thinking if that's the case. It would likely be because it looks like it would be pretty top heavy. Uh, they probably figured it would just fall over or something. Uh, that said, let me open this up and then we'll come back and uh, I guess I'll read it to you. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to slide this up and uh, see if I can get lucky and catch this balloon. The answer is no, we cannot. <laughs> That is a stereotypical of Flynn if he was actually piloting this thing. I feel like that's what this is without a doubt. Uh, again, you can't really see it well on the camera. Actually, you can. Uh, this is the first one I've actually gotten to a point you can kind of see it well. Uh, you can't make out the detail on the basket. It's actually kind of, you know, has a woven look to it. Uh, but the top of the balloon has kind of got like that deco look to it. You can kind of see like the curtain trims that he has around his. Uh, again, there's like the bottom end that would be the bucket or the basket, if you will. Note when I turn this over, it even has like the inner ribbings, like a hot air. Well, you can't see it, but again, take my word for it. Uh, so I'm guessing this was like just a little bonus piece, uh, you know, for them sending it out. Uh, again, like I said, it was probably a prototype one, but I'm thinking that it it actually stands really well, but I'm guessing since like the base is so much smaller than the top, which is scaled correctly, uh, they probably decided, you know, they'd like stick something else in, but uh, pretty cool. Now, a Monopoly Skylanders fact sheet as of July 10th, 2013. Let's uh, take a look here. The Skylanders Monopoly board game. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll read it to you. Combines the classic risk-taking and deal-making of Monopoly gameplay with the fun and excitement of the Skylanders world as players vie for control of the most coveted real estate in Skylands. Produced by USAopoly under license from Hasbro and in conjunction with Activision, of course, the cherished board game with a Skylanders twist allows fans to buy sell and trade 22 newly discovered Skylands locations and rule supreme which is why you select chaos as your player and dominate uh, that's not on the sheet I just added it by the way <laughs> but, uh, players buy sell and trade the likes of stealth elf's ninja dojo trigger happy's bank vault and spirals chompy diner while steering clear of oryx traveling store taxes imagine that and persephone's gym shop tax as they battle for thumpback's thundering tide pool and zaps lightning racetrack uh, of course prime property is traditionally occupied by boardwalk and park place key features custom skylands skylanders license design the monopoly skylanders box top and game board showcase custom art featuring the most popular skylanders characters so fans can jump right into the world of skylands uh, again, I've got to agree with them. Uh, whoever, you know, like commissioned this and actually did it, did a really good job. Uh, familiar Monopoly gameplay, players buy, sell, trade, popular locations based on characters in the world of Skylanders. Reimagined locations and game pieces. The game board includes 22, newly discovered if you will, Skylands locations such as Stealth Elf's Ninja Dojo, Chop Chop's Boneyard, and Trigger Happy's Bank Vault. While other classic features such as metal game tokens, the community chest, and chance cards have all been reimagined for the fast-paced, high-stakes world of Monopoly. Uh, unique collectible metal game tokens. The familiar game tokens the players use to navigate through the game board have completely been redesigned for Skylanders fans. Players may choose to use one of six collectible metal tokens. Chaos, all capital letters of course. Sheep, cannon, pirate ship, swords, or chompy as they travel the worlds of Monopoly Skylanders. Note again, chaos comes first and is in all caps. Just want to point that out. Uh, the game board, we've got Boardwalk as Thumpback's Thundering Tide Pool, Park Place, Zap's Lightning Racetrack, uh, Grain, if you will, those three properties, Life Element, uh, Stealth Elf's Ninja Dojo, Tree Rex's Treehouse, Stump Smash's Nutcrackers, I realize I've kind of covered this for you, but it was on this like separate sheet, so we're going to 
do it to you. Uh, the yellow undead element, if you will. Chop Chop's Boneyard, Cinder's Haunted House, Eyebrow's Optometry. Uh, t t uh, red Fire, again, nice work there, color coordinating things. Uh, Eruptor's Hot Springs, Hot Dog's Lemonade Stand, and of course, Igniter's Medieval Barbecue, which may be the best name on the board, in my opinion. Uh, orange, again, goes well with Tick. Trigger Happy's Bank Vault, Robot's Oil Change, and Bouncer's Robo Ball Court. Magenta, uh, pretty magical color, I suppose. Spiral's Chompy Diner, Pop Fizz Flavor Laboratory, and then Genie's Bottle Shop. Light Blue, great for the air element. Lightning Rod's Cloud Gym, Jet Vax Indoor Sky Driving, and Whirlwind's Rainbow Lounge. Followed up by Brown, Terrafin's Mud Spa, Crusher's Home Improvement. The Railroads, if you will, uh, those are Flynn's Blimp Tours, Air Pirate Express, Molkin Mine Train, Dread Yacht Delivery uh, Service, uh, the chest, of course, treasure chest. Chance cards are Luckatron now. Uh, da -da. Electric Company is going to be the Core of Light Electric. Uh, that's pretty clever. Waterworks, replaced with Drill X's Boxed Beats. Income Tax. Uh, of course, Auric took over that. That's a shocker. I know. Uh, luxury Tech actually ties in really well with Persephone, uh, since it's a luxury to have the upgrades. Uh, Custom Money, Gold Coins. Houses are renamed huts, hotels are renamed castles, the dice are traditional, the tokens again, once more, chaos, first and in all caps. Uh, chaos, sheep cannon, pirate ship, swords, and chomping. Publisher, USAopoly under license again from Hasbro and in conjunction with Activision. Uh, suggested audiences, families and friends ages 8 plus, I'm going to tweak that to say anyone that wants to have fun doing something cool. Availability, uh, available now at Amazon.com specialty stores throughout North America, including Hastings Entertainment, Earth, and GameStop Canada. I'm familiar with Hastings Entertainment and GameStop. Uh, maybe they mean like EB Games or something. MSRP, again, as mentioned, $39.99. And then there's just some contact info at the bottom, so... Uh, that basically recapped it for you, but again, uh, this is really cool, and uh, luckily, uh, I didn't find it today. I'm assuming, uh, you know, then again, I don't know that Toys R Us didn't have the Nintendo version. Uh, when we looked for it, uh, my sister was actually the one that mentioned, you know, it's like a shame it's not Christmas time. There's like those little specialty stores that open up in the mall that always have this stuff. That'll be an option, obviously, come Christmas time. Uh, GameStop, though, if they've got it, you can probably order online, get it at your local store. Uh, Amazon, of course, you really can't go wrong there. But again, $39.99, I think it's well worth it. Uh, if you are a collector, or if you have kids or friends in the Skylanders, uh, this will pass some great time. We've been having a lot of rainy days here. Uh, this stuff works out really well. Poor Flashwing. Uh, <laughs> But uh, big thanks, I have to say, to Activision for sending this out. Uh, and again, I'm glad that I actually got this before I like ordered it in, which I was going to do tonight. Uh, that said, other note, if you recall the three giants, I couldn't show you both paths on. Uh, Eyebrow, Thumpback, and Swarm. Uh, thanks to Daryl on Facebook. I've been out of it here lately, just insanely busy. But... Uh, and I was updating Facebook the other night. I saw Daryl had posted on the timeline. GameStop had a half-off sale. I called my local store today before I ran to town. They didn't know anything about the sale on individual figures. Uh, so I guess it's online only. I never got an email actually covering it, which is weird. But uh, the Giants are half price. <laughs> I told you I'm cheap. And I was going to wait until they were like half price, essentially. And they are. And so I stuck to my word. So, uh... The second paths, you know, for Eyebrow, Thumpback, and Swarm, I'll get to record those pretty soon. Uh, that was my big online purchase, I guess. And then, of course, uh, at Toys R Us, they had one Spiral, one Wrecking Ball, one Drobot. Uh, I hadn't really been following along, if he's still hard to find. I've been insanely busy, but now I'll have, like, a sealed one. Or uh, I kind of got it for my nephew. I asked him if he wanted it, and, you know, he said yeah, so... We'll see. Uh, either he'll have it or it'll stay sealed for me. Just in case he's like Whamshell, that's my fear. 
that he could potentially wind up like Whamshill. So uh, we'll kind of have to wait that one out. But uh, this game board is awesome. Obviously, I know Hastings isn't everywhere. Uh, we've got them here locally. Uh, if you don't have that, I mean, obviously Amazon and GameStop, that's pretty much got everyone covered, you know. Uh, if you don't live near a GameStop or a Hastings, I mean, you're probably not far from a town that has one. But, uh, again, if, as long as you can do stuff online, you're set with Amazon or GameStop or Hastings, actually. But uh, the board itself, uh, I can actually see some people, I know this is going to sound crazy to some of you, I can see some people coming in and framing the board and putting it on their wall. Uh, another thing, something I think would be cool, uh, if you actually had like an end table or a coffee table, you kind of put laminate over this and just kind of use it as the top. And then when you want to play, just, you know, move your cups or books or whatever off of it. But uh, the board looks awesome. Uh, not necessarily even from the perspective of playing it and getting the properties, but just the artwork on it is really, really good. The colors are vibrant. Uh, they spared no detail, not only on the artwork, uh, but what's cool, uh, USAopoly, Hasbro, and Activision, between the three of them, uh, either there's like some huge diehard <laughs> at... Uh, you know, USAopoly or something, or Activision worked real close with them. I don't know which it is. Maybe there's like a diehard Monopoly person at Activision. There's probably a combination of things. But like on the actual property titles, they did a really good job. They didn't just like whip it out, you know, overnight or something. Uh, Crusher's Home Improvement, Lightning Rods, Cloud Gym, Ninjini's Bottle Shop, uh, Trigger Happy's Bank Vaults, Eruptor's Hot Springs. I mean, I've covered them for you, but I mean, they truly did, you know, they put some thought into it, in other words. And uh, ultimately, I think that'll pay off for the end user. Uh, you kind of get more out of the game, kind of get more immersed in the world, if you will. But uh, like I said, you know, if you're a big Skylander fan, this is out there. It's on the market, $39.99. Uh, do I recommend you pay that for it? Yes, I do. Uh, from a collector standpoint, it's awesome. Uh, from just a regular person, I just want to play Skylanders Monopoly. Uh, think about it. If you play even the quick version, 60 to 90 minutes, do two, three rounds of that, and it comes out to like 10 bucks a round or so. Uh, you can't go to the movies for that. Certainly can't get a game for that. Uh, and it's going to have the one and done. You know, there's nothing you can do to upgrade it. It's your set for life, basically. Uh, and why do I say that so willingly? Was it because it was sent to me? No. If you recall, I was out today looking for it. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I had the kit at Toys R Us. Pull it up on the computer. It was not in their system. Uh, don't know if they'll get it or not. But, uh, big thing at Toys R Us, I at least got Drobot out of the deal. And, uh, I know some of you watch the Beyblade stuff I started doing. Uh, they had the Shogun Steel. I hadn't been in Toys R Us in like two weeks and everything changed. Uh, and apparently they have like a really big leak <laughs> through the roof too. Uh, I'll go into that some other time. But again, Amazon, Hastings, and GameStop look to be the source to go for USAopoly, Skylanders, Monopoly. Uh, again, big thanks to Activision for sending this out. And I uh, guess a little something special, you know, sent out was uh, Flynn's ship. So, uh, standard edition, you know, you'll have those six pieces, but uh, I guess like a little special, you know, touch they threw in, which big thanks for that too, is Flynn Ship. So, if I'm not playing as Chaos, I will uh, go ahead and play. My nephew may actually pick Chaos, so if he does, I'll go with Flynn Ship since it's special. Uh, and if it falls over, you know, that's what Flynn would do. So, I will leave it at that, but again, uh, as a collector or as someone you know just simply wanting to play a monopoly incorporate skylanders very cool deal again 39.99 pretty much the standard price for all your special monopolies uh the box is actually a good indicator of what's inside the box looks really good and you can expect the same on every facet of what's inside again if you want to see like the individual deed cards or the money or something uh, just post up if enough people want to see it I'll show you uh, my thing is the ones that want to see it you're probably gonna buy this really soon <laughs> so, 
like I said, you know, if enough people want it, and you know, I'll try to accommodate you. But again, uh, pleasant surprise. I wasn't sure what would be in the box. It would be like metallic purple eyebrow or t-shirt or something. But it was Skyliner Monopoly, and uh, again, <laughs> a big deal here. Uh, I was actually trying to buy it today, so uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. For questions, comments, you can ask here on YouTube or the blog. Of course, I'll have the link right to this post, uh, top of the video description. Uh, definitely check that out. Lots more information on the blog, including the newly leaked Swap Force characters, which just posted that today. I'm actually going to finish that. I didn't get to add the pictures uh, since I had to run back down to work. But uh, I'll get that taken care of uh, here shortly. We'll have a new, la new round of... New landers, new landers, castaways, castaways at this point. Uh, probably leave that one open in two weeks. Uh, gonna actually finally get some other poll questions I've mentioned in the past up. But again, Skylanders Monopoly retails $39.95. You can find it online at Amazon, GameStop, or Hastings. And you can find it at stores, Hastings, and GameStop. Uh, might show up other places. Again, there will be like that mall store that pops up around Thanksgiving. You can probably grab it from locally. Uh, that said, it looks awesome. Uh, the artwork is good. They put a lot of time either researching it or just had diehard people actually in on the project from the start. Property names are good. Uh, I'm excited. I'm actually, my nephew will be spending the night tomorrow. Uh, we're probably going to play this. Uh, so, again, pretty excited. It looks great. Uh, in my case, thanks to Activision for sending this out. Appreciate it. And uh, for everyone else, if you don't already have it, i.e. you know you got it from Amazon coming in early uh, highly recommend it if you're not into Monopoly itself as the game for whatever reason uh, just as a collector standpoint there's a lot you can take from this it looks really good uh, would actually you know, if you don't have a pool table like me you can actually like I said use that board kind of something to film on or you know have like a Skylanders backing for some characters etc Again, that's that. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to help you out. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, we will catch you later.